Hello and welcome back to Ruinark. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. There is a download available for the demo, as well as uh, potentially adding it to your Steam wishlist. You might want to do that. It's a very small studio, and uh, I think they could definitely use your support. Anyway, we're going to be playing a little bit here again, and uh, we're going to see if we can maybe play it a little bit differently this time. Obviously, the well, the options are almost endless, pretty much, and this is still just the preview build, but it's actually pretty crazy. Uh, now, what I'd like to show you is a couple of the other worlds. Unfortunately, we don't have access to those right now, but they do have descriptions, as you can see right here. So if I go to the very last one, you can see that this is a huge single region snow world bereft of any monsters. The small elven village is full of powerful residents. So you can imagine that that is probably going to be the hardest level that you're going to see in the game because they're, um, they're elves instead of humans. But anyway, we're going to be playing on Una once again and we're going to see how we do. Now, I'm going to try things a little bit differently this time. I am going to try... Uh, I'm not sure whether to limit myself in any way. I think what I will do is I will try not to use any direct damage spells. So I will basically just try to win through covert actions, demon summoning, and a variety of other indirect means, because I think that they are the, probably the most fun that you're going to have, because being able to interact with the various villagers and causing them to interact with each other is, in my opinion, some of the most fun uh, that can occur. So anyway, let's see what we can do here. So I can actually, can, can I not regenerate? No, I can't regenerate or anything like that. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. No problem at all right there. So technically, uh, I'm going to configure the loadout here. So c can I remove these? Ah, it doesn't seem like an act I can actually remove these anyway. It seems like they're default. But uh, look at this. You can actually splash water. You can create a single tile of durable wall can be chained together to block someone's path. Now that actually seems pretty interesting. However, I'm probably not going to be going for anything like that. I think we're probably going to go for maybe uh, draining happiness or draining energy. Mm, we'll probably go for forlorn spirit here. And then we'll go for draining energy as well. So I'm going to be more of a status afflicting... Um, overlord this time around in comparison to what I was before and uh, can I actually change this it doesn't seem like I can actually change this unfortunately amusingly enough in the tutorial you do have vampirism available um, so it's unfortunate that I'm not able to select anything here but of course most things are going to be randomized so we might very well have a pretty good time here so I'm going to be going with a greed demon this time and we will also be going for, mm, we'll be going for a Wrath Demon. So both of these demons will most likely be spawned uh, this time around. And otherwise, do we have anything else? No, we do not. So let us start the game and see where we have appeared. All right. So as you can no doubt tell, this is different than what it was before. The map is a little bit different here and there, and the placement of things is also different. So let me see if I can find where the village is. Ah, there it is. Okay, so we do have different names as well. We have completely different humans to fight. And where is my base? My base is all the way down here. All right, so we're going to be building something relatively quickly here. We're going to be building the eye. Of course, the eye is probably the most important structure that you have to be able to gain intel and so on and so forth. And we probably also want to build. Um, I'm not sure what the what, I'm not sure what the prison does because uh, I mean obviously I can see the description here. It allows you to capture and torture villagers, but I'm not entirely sure what the torturing actually does in comparison to brainwashing. So I'm gonna go for the brainwashing thing here, and we'll go for the kennel too because we are going to need that. And uh, yes, we are going to try and create a cultist very early on this time. Very early on. And uh, I would also like to try... What is that? An oh, Ankh of Anubis? Okay, this might be a bit problematic. This is a, uh, a holy item, in my opinion. Uh, we should probably pick that up. 
And we're probably going to take that somewhere. Let's put that... Um, let's put that somewhere here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's a good idea to put that in my base, to be honest. But we're going to do it nevertheless. All right, so this is a fire element. Ooh, now this is fun. Okay, I'm going to take the fire elemental. And uh, this is my kennel right here. So I'm going to put it in here. And we're going to breed the monster. And there we go. So we gained another fire elemental. So that's going to be very nice to see indeed. So let's see if I can actually find any other monsters that are not actual monsters yet and are just regular animals. Because what you can then do is you can breed them and you can create demons from them. So I'm hopeful that I might be able to find sheep or pigs or something along those lines. What's that? <gasps> it's a troll. Uh, I might want to go for that. It has uh, abductor breed behavior. Oh my, okay, that, <laughs> that might be kind of amusing. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's take a look at some of our villagers because obviously we haven't even looked at these first um, yet. This guy's a poison expert. Ooh, perfect. Okay, you are going to be seized, fellow, and you will be over here. Oh yes, okay, so we're going to brainwash him. There we go. And now this time around, because obviously in the previous video, we actually turned one of our cultists into an abomination. But uh, this time around, I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to be a little bit more, well, as I said before, a little bit more, uh, you know, covert and everything. Aha, so here's a pig. Okay, so we're just going to wait until, oh, 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 no, never mind. They're just hunting for food. That is absolutely fine. I am actually going to try and pick up this pig if I can. Um, because it is going to be attacked by Alistair in just a second. And I kind of want to prevent them from doing that. So I'm going to just take the pig, put it in here, and then we're just going to breed it in just a second. And we'll see what we can do. Oh, Clementine is apparently refusing to take on work. Okay, that's interesting. Ashton has praised Clementine, but no flirting or anything like that just yet, which is absolutely fine. Not a problem at all there. Yeah, the breeding seems to take a bit of time. There we are. Okay, so Erwan is now a cultist oh yes okay perfect perfect okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to try and poison some things i know that i can poison things by using magic and things like that but i think that might increase my threat um in comparison to using this ability here so i'm actually just gonna take him and we'll place him somewhere nearby there we go and now what I'd like to check out if there are any other villagers that have negative... Ooh, it should be easier to brainwash this one. Okay, oh, well, that seems uh, kind of interesting. Okay, well, we, we will think about uh, brainwashing Denver in just a second. What else do we have going on here? This guy's suspicious. Might destroy things the player touches. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's, that's good to know. This guy's a barbarian. Okay, well, good to know, good to know, okay. Uh, Clementine, what is she doing? Okay, so she's lazy. She has the lazy floor. So I'm going to see, maybe... Uh, oh, I'm actually not sure what to go for here, to be honest. I, 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 feel like, I feel like there should be something else that I should be able to select here at this point. Because, oh, this guy's blessed. Okay, this is a bit problematic. We're going to need to kill this guy or try to take him out in some way. Ooh, this guy's also blessed. I wonder why. I wonder why they are blessed in such a way. That is intriguing to me. Ah, well, okay. This might be a bit problematic then. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to let time pass. And I will then be picking up this fellow. And I will then take him to be brainwashed. Uh, ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Tim flirted with Peyton? Okay. Ah, uh, uh, who, who's married here, actually, by the way? Because I haven't actually checked that. Okay, let's have a look. He is not. And he is. Ooh, but he was rebuffed, though. He was rebuffed, so it makes no, no, no difference, as you can see. Tim flirted with Peyton, but was rebuffed. So Peyton... If we even if we tell his wife, who I I don't actually even think is, um, on the map at the moment. Yes, as you can see, Prue is not yet in this region. So, 
she's not even here so no real need for me to worry about that his daughter is also not here so that also makes no sense whatsoever uh tim as far as i'm aware does not have any um any people here that are really going to uh be too bothered about this um but he, he, he peyton is his friend so who knows who knows what was going on there kelby is actually his enemy but that's not really going to make any difference to us right now. Mm. Okay, well, I'm going to pick up Denver in just a second. Seize him. Yes. All right. And we will be brainwashing you, sir. There we are. And now we will also be breeding this monster if we can. Hopefully the cooldown is going to be gone relatively soon. And uh, we're just going to kind of keep an eye on things and make sure that we see everything that is happening. And, uh, wow, the breed monster thing takes a long time, doesn't it? Let's speed up the time a little bit here, shall we? Okay, so he is successfully... Um, yeah. Oh, could not be brainwashed? Why not? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Who's this? Who's that guy? I don't know who that is. Who is that? Wait a minute. He's a skeleton archer. Oh, okay. He's obviously doing our bidding for the moment. Oh, well, that is intriguing. Right. Okay, stop Denver, it says. Uh, okay, well, um, sure. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I stopped him. That's easy enough, isn't it? He should be easy to brainwash. Apparently not. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Ashton has flirted with Clementine. Let's see what they have in store for us. Um, let me see now. Okay, so there's Alistair. That's absolutely fine. Okay, where is... Uh, okay, are they... Wait Wait a minute. They, they might actually be married. I think they might be. Yep, yep. They are actually married, so that makes no difference whatsoever. However, what I'm thinking we might do... Um, I'd like Clementine to actually get up because I don't think I can actually select her. Maybe I can select her from here. Ah, never mind. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. We're going to afflict her with unfaithfulness. And there you go. So now she's going to do that. Denver, again, could not be brainwashed? Or is that is that the same message? I think that was actually the same message. Okay, so let's see what happens to him. Do we have Breed Monster up yet? No, almost. Yes, there we go. Okay, we finally have Denver... Uh, being brainwashed here. Okay, so that's good at least. And now we can breed monster. Okay, there we go. Done. And now we have gained a pig. Really? Do we need two in there to actually uh, to actually breed them instead of just creating pure um, <laughs> pure monsters? <laughs> that might actually very well be the case, and I was unaware of that. Okay, well, I, I'm still learning. You know, I'm still learning about this game. And I'm very intrigued to see what happens as uh, development continues once it releases. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just place a fire elemental roundabout here. And uh, we're going to... We're going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to place him roundabout here, I think. There we go. All right. So now we have this guy who can potentially do some stuff. So... Let's see exactly what happens here. Obviously, I'm just going to be doing the little uh, tutorial quest here um, just to kind of get this out of the way because obviously the tutorial is enabled to try and, you know, get us all the information that we require. There we go. Okay. So what we're going to do, uh, Alistair is not one of ours, right? He's not a cultist. No, as you can see, the, uh, the little icon by the side of their name uh, basically represents that. So what we're going to do, look at this. Okay, we're going to booby trap something. Okay, so we'll booby trap Alastair. There we go. And now he's going to do that after he's finished eating. Don't get killed by the... Yeah, no, he's not getting killed by the fire elemental, thankfully. Okay, so he's going to booby trap this. Okay, there we go. He did that while he was sleeping as well. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Okay. And uh, we could also poison something. So let's poison something of... Who's that? Who is that right there? Is that... That's Tim. Okay, okay, okay. So Tim. Boom. All right. 
even and see now here's the funny thing about this even if he gets spotted or anything like that it doesn't actually make any difference oh yeah there we go that's what i'm talking about all right nice we're getting some uh, we're getting some mana back and uh, we poisoned the food. And now we can basically tell on him if we want to, you know. That's the really cool thing as well that we can we can do if we want to do that. Okay, so... Oh, look at this. Fire has broken out because of the fire elemental. Well, um... <laughs> this is going to be kind of interesting because Erwan is actually one of our cultists. And he's actually putting out the fire, hilariously enough. They're all putting out the fire, which is, is pretty good. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I guess this is kind of hilarious. Okay, so what we're also going to do, uh, we, now we need to create a serial killer in my opinion, because if we create a serial killer, uh, this guy's, no, we can't do that. This guy. I think we're probably, oh no, but he's, he's already been targeted with the booby traps, so I didn't really want to do that. What about Ashton? Has he been, uh, no, here we go, here we go. Okay, so we're going to do... Ashton, and we're going to afflict him with psychopathy. There we go. And now we're going to select male and then human, I guess. I mean, technically, I could go for class, and then I could select... Ah, uh, actually, there aren't any blessed units here. What about trait? Because he could just go after the blessed ones, you know? That's the thing that I'm thinking that might actually be uh, useful here. But it doesn't seem like Blessed is actually available. So it will probably have to just be a literal, straight-up human thing. And then he will just kill male humans. <laughs> which is hopefully going to work quite nicely for us. Who knows? Um, what I'm actually going to do is I am thinking that I will try to poison some other stuff here. So I'm thinking we might try to poison... The, uh, we can't, we can't do that. Denver is in his home. Okay, that's absolutely fine. He is evil, which is perfect. And, uh, who else is blessed, by the way? Is Peyton blessed? He is. Ah, okay, interesting. Okay, so Denver, go over to Peyton's house and poison him. While everyone is repairing the damage that uh, was done by the fire elemental which is which was completely by mistake by the way oh no never mind denver is now being attacked by some by some spiders but he is actually doing a pretty good job at it and now he's going to oh wow look at that what a beast he is look at how crazy oh look look he's going over there he's going over there he's eating he's poisoned okay good Oh, yes. This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect right now. This is working so incredibly nicely. And he is now poisoned. So I'm actually not sure what can be done now. Uh, is Kelby also... No. Oh, Kelby is also blessed. Ooh. Yeah, this, this is a lot more difficult than the previous time that I played. Because you can't do anything to these guys. Blessed villagers are immune. Completely immune. And look at this. Peyton is now dead. He was poisoned and he's now dead. Okay, there you go. He is done. Okay, so Clementine, we're going to afflict you with... Ooh, hot-headed, I think. We're going to try out hot-headed. I don't know what hot-headed is going to do, to be honest. Um, let's see if we can trigger that. Oh, look at this. She's also unfa... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is actually kind of hilarious. We'll become angry. Let's do that. Okay, so she's going to become angry. I'm not entirely sure what that's going to mean. Okay, Ashton flirted with her. That's absolutely fine. I mean, they are married after all. So, oh, oh look at that. Our threat level has actually gone down, which is really nice. It was at like almost 40, so that's doing quite nicely. Okay, so let's actually have a look at our demons here because we do actually have a bunch. So let's use Greed Demon and, uh, and uh, Pride Demon and uh, Wrath Demon. There we go. So all of these guys are now going to be making their way into the village. And uh, there's my Fire Elemental. I should probably seize this guy and probably put him somewhere else. Let's put him in there. There we go. Don't really want to... Oh! Look at that! Clementine is assaulting the rug! Yes. 
Fantastic. Good good work. Take that, Rug. You you have done a great disservice to this country. Yes, I'm sure. All right. Well, we're absolutely fine here. Uh, what is this? Who who's that? That's Denver. Okay, so he's one of ours. Oh, these all oh, these demons are gonna absolutely murder. Or they're not. As the case may be. Apparently the uh, <laughs> apparently the villagers don't care that there are demons literally running around their environment. Which is actually Oh, there we go. They're actually attacking them now. Okay, good, good. At attack him, attack him. Okay, very nice. Okay, so there we are. Had an awkward chat with person. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did have a very awkward chat with uh, that demon that wants to murder you. Very good indeed. Okay. So, yes. Now, now this guy is literally... Uh, that's a troll. That's actually a troll that is knocking out... Uh, knocking out Alistair. <gasps> oh, no. I have a bad feeling about this for Mr. Alistair. I think he is literally going to be uh, experiencing something not incredibly comfortable. Let's just say that. Ah... Uh, I don't really know what is going to happen as a result of this. Denver is still doing a good job defending against my demons. Oh, no, actually, that was a giant spider that he just killed. But that's actually not too bad. Um, do we have anyone else, actually? Okay, so what's actually happening here? I am not sure. I am not sure what... Oh, he's turned it... Did he... Wait a minute. He turned into stone? Oh, he turned into stone. You know why he turned into stone? Because of the daytime. I think he turned into stone because of daytime. So I would assume that as soon as it hits like 7 a.m. or something like that, that is when all trolls, if they are outside, they turn into stone. And look at this. Denver has now puked because he saw a dead Peyton. He is brainwashed though. Does he know he's a cultist? He might not, you know. He might not realize. And now he has reminisced. You Wait a minute. Didn't, didn't Denver poison him i think he i think he did to be honest so that is kind of interesting clementine is also here as you can quite clearly tell so i well i i'm gonna seize her i suppose and we will place her in front of denver denver mocked clementine oh lovely very nice indeed <laughs> ah that is super funny okay so let's speed up the time a little bit and we'll see exactly what the troll does if Alistair is not dead. Because I think... Is he dead? No, he, he seems to be alive. He is starving. He is sulking. But he is alive. I want to see what happens when it turns to night. Because if it turns... To, oh, Bereth was killed by Tim. Oh, Tim seems to be the only... Uh, only... Um, um, villager still remaining here. Okay, so he's actually starving right now. So let me afflict him with... Uh, I could afflict him with paralysis, really. I mean, I don't, should, should I? Let's try it out. Okay. Okay, so he's actually incapacitated as it is. Okay, so now he's going to get killed by my greed demon, by the looks of things. And now Kelby is also being attacked by my greed demon. Apparently... Oh, no! Whoa, she murdered him! Wow, did you see that? That was very impressive. Got to say that. Okay, so Tim was actually killed. So nothing really to worry about there. However, Kelby is still alive. We have two villagers remaining. And aha, there's the troll. Okay, so the troll has actually... Did he do anything down here? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Kelby puked, saw dead Clementine. Erwan had a warm chat. Erwan puked. Okay, well, good to know. And is he is he still alive, this guy? I think he is still alive. I'm going to afflict him with unfaithfulness. And uh, we'll see what uh, what happens from that. Shall I afflict him with anything else? Hot-headed. Let's just give him everything. Give him, give him everything that he can take, pretty much. I can't do anything with Kelby because she is blessed. So this might very well mean that we have to do something like poison. Yes. Okay, so let's uh, let's do that. Let's poison her. And Erwan will booby trap something of hers. And hopefully she will continue doing some work. Erwan is now eating, which is not exactly what I wanted, but okay. <laughs> we'll just let we'll just let them do whatever they want to do at the moment. Okay, so there we go. He's gonna put a trap on the torch. And now she's going to sleep. Okay, well that's good to know. 
the succubus. Oh my. Okay, so she's now... Uh, that's actually hilarious. I actually wonder whether she's going to... Um, <laughs> whether she's going to try and seduce one of my cultists. Because that's probably not going to be extremely good for me. But uh, I don't... I, I suppose I don't really mind. But it seems like everyone else is basically done. And... Uh, th th there she comes. There she comes. Okay. She is actually going to kill Erwan because she is technically... Oh, no. No, yep, yep. Denver was killed. Look at that. Denver was killed by... Not this, actually. She... What, what, what is... What is that? It's a giant spider. Oh, Denver was down here. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, okay. I actually did not realize that. I thought Denver was in his bed here, but that is actually Erwan. Okay, interesting. Apparently the succubus just left him alone as well, which was quite quite um, quite intriguing. I'm not I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but anyway, uh, we'll just speed things up a little bit and we'll then see what happens. Because what I would like to do is I'd like to get Erwan. Let me actually see if I can. Uh, these are all neutralized. Okay, so ah no, I can actually select them from here. Okay, oh it seems like I can't actually select them right now because they are sleeping or Erwan is sleeping. As you can see. Okay, so let's see if I can now poison. Ah, oh, she's eating already. Ah. Okay, well, that's not really going to work then. What about afflicting... Uh, wait a minute. Have I already afflicted him with unfaithfulness? No. Okay. Alright. Not bad. Poison the food at her table. She might go for yep yeah, she's gonna go for a sleep so we will probably do something like this is alistair dead now it seems like alistair is indeed dead what did he die from because ah he died of starvation because he was knocked unconscious by the troll by the looks of things oh, that's actually kind of interesting can i afflict him with anything now no of course not all right well um i think that is pretty much oh that was the booby trap right there the booby trap went off Okay, apparently that went off. Is she going to walk into the poison? No, she's being attacked by this. Okay, whoa. Kelby is an absolute monster. Like, really? It's going to be kind of difficult for me to make this work, I think. She's... I think she's poisoned. I think she is poisoned. I think she's dying from the poison. Is she? I think so. Oh, uh, she was, but not anymore. And now Erwan is sleeping on the ground. Of course he is. Okay, walk into the poison again then. Seems like she, uh, she might be going for some food soon. Yes, she is. Okay, I think she's done. Yep. No? Is she is she immune to poison? I think she's immune to poison. Oh dear. This might be problematic. Okay, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon some demons. We're going to summon some demons and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see what happens. I, I don't know what I can, uh, what otherwise I can do, to be honest, <laughs> apart from summoning some demons. It is very difficult to eliminate uh, villagers if you don't um, use your direct damage spells. But there you go. She's actually fleeing now, and she might very well be dead. Yes, she is indeed dead, and we managed to wipe out all of the villagers. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I love this game. I, I got to say, I feel like this game is extremely fun. The amount of flexibility that you have is crazy it is really really good and i highly recommend adding it to your steam wishlist if you're at all interested and uh, you know maybe check out the demo as well i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time